Hi, I'm Marcio Takara. I'm a comic book artist. Today I'm going to show you how to draw different hairstyles for female characters. We're gonna talk about the hair of the characters. Out of all the reference that I picked, I choose a few of them to use now. Let's do it. Let me get rid of the excess here. I'm gonna use this picture here. She's a brunette, but mine's gonna be a blonde. We have the hairline first. Somewhere here, following the line of the eyebrows. You have to think about the flow of the hair, big masses of hair. I'm gonna mark them with a pencil, and when I ink this, I'm gonna be able to show more texture and lightning. But for now, this is enough to keep things going. You see here how there's this flow following the shape of the head. So you can use this with some simple lines just to guide you. Here the hair is going to this direction here. This is something that you can try to use. And there's this flow here of the head. It makes things more interesting. At the end of it, you can do all kinds of shapes and waves just to show movement. Following the big mass that we marked before. This part here, this is where the shadow will be all over the place. And this should be enough for you to start inking. You'll finish this a lot with a brush. It's gonna look more organic. And pay attention to the silhouette of the hair because the head is a focal point. So there you go, you have a nice shape and silhouette. So let's change the drawing now. This is gonna be a short hair. Just mark the headline on the forehead. You can use the eyebrow as reference. The size of the nose should be the size of the forehead. I'm gonna use the opposite flow of the picture just for the sake of a composition here. You can follow the head structure. Just make sure to follow the head, but not too much, just to give some nice silhouette. Think of big masses and not drawing every single hairline. And you can finish everything with the inking later. So now let's do the next one. So this one has a longer hair. So this should be fine. I'm just gonna use on the opposite direction. You don't have to do exactly what you have on the picture. It's just something to guide you. She has this division here. You can do the opposite following the shape of the head. And this is all coming from this part here. All these shapes, you have to think about them coming from this part of the head. gonna put something here this is something that I'm improvising because the picture doesn't have anything on this side of the head I usually just improvise during the inking stage but you can put some lines here just to show what's going on and to guide you later 
just some big masses here. One mass, another one. Everything coming from the top. And this is where the shadow will be, so you don't have to worry too much about it. It's refining the jawline here a little bit. And you can add a few hairlines here and there just to show more interesting things to the figure. And you can add some final touches here. And you can see how I'm using the big hair mass as an element for the composition of the whole page. We had this empty space here, so it's a good thing to balance the whole figure here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about me and my process, check out my course on Domestica.